Hello, hello, hello. I am recording this video mostly so that I can teach myself how to properly edit a video and also because quarantine and I'm bored. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup today and finishing what is left of my coffee. I'm probably not going to tell you every product that I'm using because I don't think anyone cares. This video is pretty much just for me. So if no one watches it, I'm cool with that. So I've already washed and prepped my face with my moisturizer and now I'm going to use primer. I mostly just want to do a really simple look today because my living room doesn't care what I look like and that's the only place that I'm going. So I have so much redness on my face. I have rosacea and I have very sensitive skin. So usually when I wear makeup, my only goal is to cover up like this area and this area and like my chin, like the redness and stuff. I don't really have like breakouts or anything. I know it looks like breakouts, but it's not. It's just like red patches and stuff and some of them are scars from previous breakouts so I also have my 10 week old baby in the room so if you hear his swing going back and forth that's what that is and if you hear him fuss sorry literally all of my makeup is for um, oily skin because that's what I used to have and then I had a baby and now all of a sudden my skin is drier than the Sahara Desert I'm mixing these two shades. When I went and bought this um, foundation, this is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. So I have, uh, when I went and bought this foundation, they were out of the shade that I actually needed. And so I just got two shades that I felt like would do and mix them together. So I don't know how good this is going to match. Um, not at all. Very, very yellow. Yeah, that's too yellow. Okay, let's see if this is any better. That's a little better. I'm just gonna go with that. Honestly, I don't really care what it looks like because, like I said, just going to the living room you know like all those memes that say why does everybody get dressed and put on a full face of makeup for Thanksgiving and blah 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 well all of those years of putting on makeup and getting dressed for sitting on the couch have prepared me for this moment of getting ready and then sitting on my couch I'm gonna be honest though I'm still not gonna get dressed. I'm just gonna wear my pajamas and my little nursing tank top and call it a day. This is not normally how I put on my foundation, but I had to use this little container to mix it because I don't have foundation that matches, so. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush to blend. I think this is called a kabuki brush. I don't really know what that is or what it means, but I like to say it because it's fun, so. I know this looks like a lot, and that's because it is. That's the secret. Everybody's always like, how do you do your makeup? Oh my goodness. You just put a bunch on and cross your fingers. This is not the right color at all. Now that that's mostly spread around, grab my sponge and finish blending while I pick up any extra product. got all of my makeup knowledge 
from just watching YouTube. Like, I've never done anyone's makeup for like an event. I've never worked at a makeup counter. Like, I don't have any experience with any of them. All of my makeup, almost all of my makeup is drugstore makeup. I love doing my makeup just because it's fun, but I'm not any kind of professional, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell in this video. This is usually the time that I would go back in with more foundation to um, cover any areas that I needed, any extra coverage, usually right in here where all that redness is and all that pigmentation, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't feel like it. sponge because I don't like to use a wet sponge with my setting powder and I'm just gonna press that in just under the eyes That seems like it might be a lot right there, but I'm gonna leave that. Also going to set here. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows, which I do a little differently than most people. I've never seen anyone do them the way that I do them. And that's okay because I do my makeup at home by myself in my room and I don't usually have anybody here to judge me. So if you guys want to judge me, go for it. shapes. naturally like if this one just has a higher arch and this one just doesn't have an arch but it always always looks like I'm hey there like <laughs> I mean I guess it's not that bad but literally every time I do my brows they end up that way every time I really don't like the new feather brows trend unpopular opinion I know but I'm just I'm not a fan not a fan at all. That's as good as I gonna get. 
next, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeshadow. I just use a tiny bit of this, cause like a little goes a long, a long way with this. This is very pigmented and very, um, very full coverage, I guess is the right term. And I just pat this in with my finger. Cause I don't wanna pull the product. up here into the crease. I have very small eyelids. Like, I don't have a whole lot of space to work with right there. But that's okay. We gonna make it work. There's also zero organization to my vanity, my makeup area. There's none. There used to be. But now, there's none. I'm just setting this with a brightening powder. So I am going to get my eyeshadow brushes. All my brushes are dirty, so don't come for me. They're always dirty. I don't clean them. I do clean them. I just don't clean them very often. I don't clean them. And before you're like, oh, that's so bad for your face. I don't care. I don't care if it's bad for my face. All the makeup that I'm caking on it is also bad for my face. And it makes me, if it makes me break out, then that's on me. So you don't need to be worried about it. Okay, so I like to use this uh, Jaclyn palette just for the mirror because it's lightweight and it's easy to hold. Right now I'm using my Tati Beauty palette because she's my favorite. Yeah, I, um, bought her palette. I want her Blendiful so bad, but I uh, have not bought it yet. I will, I just don't have it yet. I purchased Halo right when it dropped, like immediately right when she released it. I bought uh, three packs of Kiwi, and I also have used the uh, hair, skin, and nails. The Kiwi is to die for. I am hopefully going to start using them again once all of this craziness with the coronavirus dies down and I can get back to work and actually make money and afford to buy products again because like look y'all have been complaining about being in quarantine about oh I'm so sick of staying in the same house and not going to see anybody and I can't go to school and this is terrible I said this on my Facebook page already but I was on maternity leave right before all this started and when I was transitioning back to going to work I was uh, working from home so that I could be with the baby and uh, I was breastfeeding and it just made it a little easier to not have to send him to a daycare and uh, the work that I was doing luckily I was doing like data entry and uh, some accounting work and uh, The stuff that I was doing, luckily, I could also do from home. So I was on maternity leave. I also had an extended maternity leave. So I was on a seven week maternity leave. And then after that, I was quarantined because after that was when all this stuff started. And my son is 10 weeks old. Today, he's 10 weeks old. So. I have been in my house, quarantined, for 10 weeks. So y'all are complaining about having to do this for two weeks or whatever, and I've been staring at the same walls for 10 weeks. Y'all can suck it up, it's not that bad. However, I will say, I am an introvert, tried and true. I don't like crowds. I don't like talking with a lot of people. The introvert in me, Thriving right now. I think I want to put a little bit of this orange color. God, I love this color. I think I want to put this on this outer portion of my lid. God, 
is that color payoff incredible or what? Like, hello. Hi. I won't stop whining. Mom keeps having to stop to give me my noonie, but I don't want my noonie. I just want mom. Instead of doing that like tap off the excess thing, I go on my hand and kind of swirl it around just to get any excess off. So when I'm finished, it looks like I have a huge bruise on my hand. <laughs> I think whenever you watch videos like this that have been edited and like cut down, you don't realize how much time people actually spend blending. Because like, there's only so much you can say while you're doing windshield wiper motions in your crease. So like, Whoever's recording the video probably just gets kind of quiet around that time and then a lot of it gets cut out and on top of that even if they weren't quiet who wants to look at the same exact thing over and over and over same exact thing of somebody blending like nobody's gonna watch that so a lot of it gets cut out and so when people in real life are doing their makeup they're like wow this girl that I watched only blended for like two minutes but like no you have to blend until your wrist is about to fall off if you want it to look like it's actually blended. Oh. And I'm also going to sweep away what's left of this powder. So buff this right into my hairline. So if you see makeup in my hair, mind your business. Blend, blend, blend. I don't really do a whole lot of nose contouring. Somebody's handsome. <laughs> okay. I swear, everything takes 10 times longer when you have an infant. I usually don't. What is this light? Hello. Okay. Let's see if that's what happens when you take six hours to do your makeup. The sun sets you run out of natural light.
dark into my eyes. And I'm going to put some shadow on the lower lash line. This is the same brush, by the way. I just pinch it to make it smaller. I really think that adding shadow to the lower lash line just helps to open up the eyes a lot. And then I just use a bigger brush to buff it out. So much for a natural look today. I think I want to use a gold. And I want to do just like a line up here. Just to kind of frame it a little bit. like it just really juices up the lips a lot. Now I'm going to do some liner. And I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I don't know. I might do a wing. We'll see how I'm feeling. I said I wasn't going to do one, but here we are. Jess sold it to me. This was the best mascara that I have ever used. Um, I ran out of it. And the only reason that I have not purchased more is because I haven't been working because of maternity leave and the coronavirus stuff. But as soon as I am working again, I will repurchase. Y'all, if I could, I would have all Lime Life products. Like, I've used their mascara and uh, eyeliner their liquid eyeliner and they are incredible like the quality is just so good I have also used uh, some skincare products from Lime Life, Lime Life which are great um, the skin polish is to die for I need some more of that so bad Really like a whole lot of mascara on my bottom lashes and since I have such short stubby lashes I just like to push them up after I put my mascara on We're not done. I 
forgot about the highlighter. After my setting spray is mostly dry, I take the cleaner side of my blender and just kind of stamp that in everywhere. Again, for my highlighter, I just use shadow. I use eyeshadow for like everything. This is the finished look in natural light, so you can see a little bit better. 